try to express um, bright and happy and optimistic and um, colorful and um, pleasant. There's enough unpleasantness in the world, so I don't feel like I really need to depict that or, or rub people's nose in it. I think we all know that, that, that there's good in the world too, and I'd like to express that part. Well, I'm Judy Klein, and I like to call myself a creativity explosion because I do everything, jewelry and mixed media and painting and uh, fiber arts and um, sewing and artware. I just can't seem to settle on one thing because I love everything. <laughs> I grew up in Glendive, Montana, and I, grew, I lived there until I graduated from college there and um, married my husband, John, who is a retired lawyer. And we raised two sons here. And I've been creating since I was a little girl. I used to retreat to my room and make uh, design doll dresses and make uh, things for people to wear. And I, one of my best days was to be sick enough to stay home from school but not sick enough that I couldn't get in my mother's bed and get paper and make paper dolls and cut up and snippets and glue it all day long. And I'm sure they had to change the bed when they went or wanted to sleep in it because it was full of paper and glue and crackers. <laughs> but that was my favorite kind of day was that delicious day when you just get to stay home all day and there's nobody else around except mom and you just, you, she takes good care of you and brings you chicken soup and yeah it was it was a good day well right now i'm working on a um i'm i'm working on a a, a face and then i'm going to collage around it and make a jacket back for um an altered jacket i have um artwear style shows coming up in february at febfest so we have to, I have to have some creations and inspire others to make something so they can enter too and be in the style show. So this is a face that I'm working on and I've done it on fabric that is printed with a um, script. So when I paint the face, it will, the script will all show through. It's kind of a little bit arty. Right now I'm working on some collage postcards. They're made from fabric scraps. What I have friends who are quilters and they give me all their fabric scraps and I, that's, I prefer to work small. So I just use the little bits and pieces and make fabric postcards and collage um, uh, artware. And um, I uh, like to use, to make jewelry. So I use uh, beads and um, found objects. I've been making collage uh, beads made with plastic tubing and I, um, make necklaces using these long tube plastic beads, which I don't have with me here, but um, let me see, what else do I do? I paint, I draw, uh, I like to do, make my own paper from um, deli paper. I make jelly plates, which is the latest new craze. It's, a, it's like a, a mono print with a special plate that uh, everybody is sweeping the nation. Everybody loves to do it. And I like to make my own fabric with that. So it's a monoprint fabric, monoprint paper. I have um, an envelope, a couple envelopes that I made with the monoprinted uh, paper. And I like to mail these. Isn't that fun? I just love to do mail art. So that's another one of the things I do. I'm inspired by so many things that I don't know what I'm going to do the next day. But I love, I just love coming to this studio because it's a quiet place, a place where I can reflect and think and work on things and, and, I, um, and I can plan and decide what I'm going to do without distractions. I love it. If you look around my studio, you'll see it's like a, an explosion of creative things and um, there's fabric on one wall and paint on the other wall and paper in another space, and it's just my happy place. 
I have given workshops at the Holter. Yesterday I taught a, a class at the upstairs in the teaching space here at uh, Studio Art Center Free Ceramics. I taught a class on uh, altered Altoids tins. It was so much fun. Everybody had a good time. I, th I had six students. We played all day. It was great. I try to tell people that there are no wrong answers when you're doing art. And if you have a failure, you can always throw it away. It's not, it, you don't have to preserve it just because you made it. <laughs> it's, you know, some, everybody has failures. And some people's failures are not tangible. So you, everybody's failures aren't something that you can see and you don't have to keep it. You can tear it up or throw it in the garbage and start over. And everything's a learning experience. So we just had a, have a good time in my classes. We, I, I like to provide a few uh, inspirational things that people can work with. So if they haven't brought everything that, that will inspire them or set their hair on fire, uh, I'll make sure I bring things that will. And then we just sort of get started. And once people get started, it's really funny how the room gets so quiet. You can just, you can see everybody working, but it's very quiet. Nobody's talking, and I love that part. All of a sudden, it just gets really quiet, and people are in their, their creative zone. And then I go around and look, and sure enough, they're doing their own thing, and I love it. I have a, a website. It's judykline.com, and it, I... On my website, there's a link to my Etsy page where I have a few things up for sale at Etsy. I have things at the Holter Museum here in Helena, and I have things at upstairs at Free Ceramics in their display area. And I'm always available through my website. Sometimes I make appointments with people and go visit with them and meet them and um, I have them come to my studio and say hello. So it's, I, I just, yeah, I'm easily available. Well, one of the things that I've always that I have made and I'm not wearing one today are divas. I call them divas. They're kind of a little stuffed doll that um, people wear. They have beaded hair and beaded fringe, and they're on a necklace. And they, uh, my business card, has a little couple of divas printed on the back, and it says, "Inside every woman lives a diva, and only some of us have the guts to let her out." And I like to let out my inner diva and share what I know and what I love to do with others. I think it's, uh, it's probably my favorite thing. And all the, uh, th I love to learn from others too. So um, every day is a creative experience and I love it. Mm -hmm.